What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. So as you can probably tell by my red face, I've just finished up at the gym. Got my lean protein shaker cup. That is because I needed, it was an absolute must for a pre-workout today uh, because it was leg day. So let's jump into a commentary after the intro. What's up guys and welcome back to today's leg day commentary. This was actually a midweek workout where everyone was on a night out and I was just on my own in the gym. Um, because gains. Um, uh, no, it was because uh, progress comes through consistency and to be honest I just love training legs. It's, it's a bit weird really. People like hate it and try and avoid it as much as possible but I found myself almost craving it and just I don't know the, the, the feeling of squatting just makes you feel so powerful and I just love the the explosive power that comes with it but however leg day is really starting to take its toll. I've been in a caloric deficit for like 60 days now and to be honest I'm really happy with how much strength I've retained and I would say the only thing that I've suffered is a few reps here and there on the bench but I just substitute that with more reps so like that's all good but I think it's very important to maintain as much strength as possible and never go oh screw it I'll just take a few kilos off today because that is exactly how you lose both strength and size that you work so hard to put on but back to my original point the strength is still there, but now I'm so deep into the cut. Like I say, I've been dieting for around 60 days now, and, and, and that's a long time to, to be in a caloric deficit. And now I would say that I just feel so very, very drained, or yeah, drained would probably be the best way to say it, at the end of leg workouts. I tend to save some carbs and kind of schedule them around leg day because I get so hungry, but at the end of the day, you're using half of your body, so the stress on your body will be so much higher than if you just train chest or back or shoulders. Um, by themselves. So that's just some thoughts that I wanted to share with you. Today I did a lot of reps, so I worked my way slowly up to 100 kilos and did two sets on that, but did two sets on each of the weight increments that you've seen so far, so six, to uh, six sets in total. And that was followed by three sets of stiff legged deadlifts using 60 kilos, and then we moved swiftly onto another three sets of leg extensions. With this exercise I really focused on pausing at the tops, really squeezing the quad and getting the most out of the movement. Um, I did another three sets of pause reps after this and to be honest with you guys I was completely gassed after that I I completely burnt my burnt out my quads and just had to power through the rest of it so as you guys can see here we moved on to some uh, hamstring curls with again with the same form applying really squeezing the hell out of the muscles making the most out of the movement the last exercise was some calf raises we finished off with that uh, one thing I'll point out is the positioning of my feet they're actually low lo kind of low down on the leg press and hanging off the bottom of the leg press um, that just means that you can get the full stretch past 90 degrees to get that full range of motion so you can really work those calves. So that's going to conclude today's commentary guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did then leave a like. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. So I've been getting a few questions and so I thought I'd answer them in a video. This is why I take pre-workout. I know I mention it a lot in Instagram posts and Facebook posts and all that kind of stuff. But to those of you who don't follow my social media, this is what I take. It is Lean Nutrition Pre-Workout in the red berry flavour. You can get that for $19.99 or you can get it for around £17, £18 with, if you use my 10 Liam discount code. Post-workout, I take these BCAAs. People like to take them pre or during the workout, but I tend to just take them afterwards. And as well as that, I'm taking these lean nutrition CLAs as well. Links and the discount code are in the description box as always guys. Can't forget the deodorant as well. Guys, in a bit. So just a little subscriber update. Uh, this video was actually... Okay guys, so just currently uh, finishing up the meal prep for uni tomorrow. I'm in from 9 till 5 and I'm planning on going uh, to the gym in that time as well. So I'm definitely going to want to meal prep, save some money and make sure I hit those macros as well. So I'll just show you what I've got here. I've got 150 grams of pasta cooked, so it's probably about 75 grams uh, weight, uh, uncooked sorry and one tin of tuna and a load of string beans which go underneath the tuna as well. Uh, you might notice the sheer volume of ketchup, I, I, I kind of went um, overboard. Um, I had a new low weigh-in like yesterday morning and so I just thought I'd treat myself to a little bit more ketchup. Don't do that, this is definitely a kind of do as I say, not as I do kind of situation. So um, yeah, no, nothing else to say on that. So this is just another idea that you can have. Uh, as I say, string beans definitely be, uh, definitely bulk out the meal a hell of a lot more. So we we'll def definitely recommend. that. My, actually, to be fair, they're not the nicest because string beans cold is a little bit funky, but I don't mind them warm. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is just chill in bed, watch some YouTube and eat some of this muscle mousse. I have done a muscle mousse review, so if you want to know how that works and what it all is, I'll put that link in the description box for you guys. So I've had a very productive night, I've been to the gym, I've done some research for uni, I've filmed videos, I've edited videos, so I've had a very productive night and now I'm just going to 
I would say just have a deserved chill out and just relax for a little while. So what I'm going to do is leave the vlog here for the night and pick it up in the morning. So this morning is just one of those days where you just cannot function properly. And it's not good because I'm in from 9 to 5. guys sat here uh, watching some football it is Saturday so all the football is on um, just keeping up to date with that I'm sat here editing and uploading videos and all that kind of stuff as well keeping up to date because you do actually have to be really prepared because the Wi-Fi here is absolutely shocking it's, it's terrible it's like a six minute video would take like six hours to upload and so you really have to kind of plan ahead and stay on track and really be organized otherwise you'll fall behind and then you won't be able to be consistent with your uploads um, so yeah, I've had to, the entire time we've been here, I've had to put up with terrible internet, but it is what it, you know, we've lived here for 247 days. I have a countdown app on my phone, um, but it has, a, it has a post date. So I've had to put up with being a YouTuber, <laughs> uploading twice a week for 247 days, four hours, 17 minutes, and nine seconds. We've actually only got like a month left of living here. We've got a couple of months left on the contract, but we will only actually be here for another month, probably a little bit more. Not too sure yet, we've not quite decided. Do you think second year has gone quicker than first year? Yeah. Or not, do you? I think first year went quicker, but second year, I don't know whether, we, whether it was because we did more, like we went out pretty much every night. I don't know what it was, but I think first year went quicker than second year. All things come really cool. Mm. Yeah, lesson to um, kind of live in the moment and just enjoy every minute of it, guys, because blink and you miss it, and, and and the time here is just gone. A subscriber update: we actually have two hundred, uh, three hundred and ninety-two on the computer screen, as you guys can see there. We have three hundred and forty-eight on the computer screen. But alongside that, we also have 348 subscribers on there as well. So 348, 348, 392. Still absolutely no idea what's going on. Okay guys, so how's it going? Just finishing up editing this video right here and this is where I'm going to conclude today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and to remind you guys to stay tuned for the three videos next week. We have Body Power next Friday. Very excited for that and also possibly a new series in the making. So stay tuned for Wednesday's video for all that content and guys, like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.